What's good, everyone? It's Chambers from ChambersMixed.com. Now, look, if you're a producer and you want to prove that you got some of the hardest beats, I want you to hop in this contest real quick. For the first time ever on this channel, I'm doing a producer contest, a beat battle to see who has the hardest beats. If you think you're a fire producer, now is your time to shine, and the winner is going to win big. Here's how it works. Since my new Galaxy Guitars kit just came out, whoever can make the most fire beat with the kit will win the contest and be crowned the best producer. It has 10 crazy loops for you with stems included fully mixed bpm key all of that everything you need to make a hit so when you make the beat and you feel confident about what you made i want you to send it to chambers mixed it at gmail.com on march 16th all submissions are closed i'm gonna be listening and picking a winner whoever wins is gonna win three months of free unlimited access to my online class that's thousands of dollars worth of value plus almost all of my drum kits included for download an exclusive community and so much more lastly i'm gonna give the winner a personal shout out on my youtube channel that's a video community post short all of that to make sure everyone knows that you won i'm already getting submissions so make sure that you get on it make the best beat that you can with the galaxy guitars kit remember all submissions close march 16th so good luck all right what's up guys today i'm gonna be making a melodic beat for lil dirk in the style of his song top with fredo bang or the song i produced for him called no time they both involve some fire guitar melodies so that's what we're gonna work with today i'm in fl studio 7 today let's get this beat started with a fire sample from the galaxy guitars kit That's it. That's it. There, yo, I can already hear the drums in my head. That's perfect. If you want to see how we made all these loops from scratch, play by hand, I'll leave a little uh, whatever side it's on, but go check out that video. It shows you how we did all of this stuff. So I could either drag it in like that and there's the loop, but I like to use the stems that are included with all 10 of the loops. I just go, it's nice and organized. And I love that we have several layers of melody. That makes it so much easier and quicker when I'm structuring out my beats. I have a melody here, here, here. Just take them out, interchange them. BPM and key included. Also, we got C sharp minor at 90 BPM. So I'll adjust that to 90. And I love the excess on all the loops just in case like there's a reverb tail. And you want to leave that for an outro, but I'll cut it back for now. Let's get a better understanding of what these guitar layers sound like. So that's like the foundation of everything. Then we add one. And then we got this super high pitched texture. So I'm gonna be able to like take it, break it apart. So we could do a section like this, do a section like this. Perfect for verses, hooks, intros, all that stuff. I'm gonna go into tools, go to macros, and then we'll go to switch all audio clips to real time stretching. So this allows us to keep everyone on grid in case we wanna increase or decrease the tempo. I'm gonna have it at 86, which is really, if I do the math, 172. Let me check the calculator. I suck at math. Eight, six times two. I'm on fire. Wow. I'm gonna just bring that up to 172. Sometimes I prefer to work with higher numbers when it comes to the grid and like how stuff is with BPM. Now, if you do do that and you hit the space bar, it's gonna sound like this. Plus, all those guitar sounds are already fully mixed. We ran every single sound through an analog guitar effects pedal. So you're going to have sonics that can't compare to any other kit. I'm really giving you all the tools that you need to go crazy on a beat for this contest. Whatever loop that you pick, just make sure you give it your all. I can't wait to hear it. First thing I want to add, I think, is a breath. No, I want that one clap from a novel. No. That one, yeah, I like this clap. Let's add that on the three and the seven counts. Oh, yo, <laughs> I forgot to tell you guys how to fix this. Like I was saying, if you up the BPM and you don't stretch it out, you're gonna get, yeah. So you wanna click these double arrows right here, one that goes left and one that goes right, and you wanna select everything. So I'm gonna hold control, drag across all these audio files. I'm going to stretch this to double. So if it's at four right now and we wanna stretch it double, you add another four, which takes us to eight from this line right here all the way to here. So now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now there should be no problem with the tempo. Easy fix. So I'll add a pattern. We're going to put that clap on the three and this. Imagine claps were like hi-hats. That's crazy. We're going to get some hats. 
I'm gonna start with fill each two steps, but I'm gonna manipulate it. I'll add a gap right there after the clap. Then we'll add another pattern. Let's make it unique so it's different from this first one. We could do a roll. We wanna grab that paintbrush tool. We go like right here. Keep that velocity nice and low so it's not too loud. Now go into panning, go one, two, one, two, and that will have two of these hats pan to your left ear and two of them pan to your right ear. The higher you go, the more it's panned out. And then we're going to go into that second hi-hat pattern that I, that I, that I, that, that, that. that's every time I stutter, I'm just going to make a beat and we're going to add a roll here. You ever realize Perry the, sorry, Perry the platypus is a hi-hat roll because he's like, and then this one, I'll take it and go down a few notes, like a very quick staircase. So it looks like uh, the Rocky movie. I love Undeniable 2 open hats, especially open eye has seven. That's my guy. There's some percussion sounds I want in here, like this one. Yeah, it's kind of like a triangle, but it's not. It's more like a rectangle. <laughs> and we got to tune it. So it's in tune with the beat. A lot of people actually can't hear that. I think that's what being tone deaf is, which is 90% of the people watching this video. Because when I hear your beats, your percussion sounds tuned to I don't know what. And you got chords playing in a whole other key. Let me clear it up right now. If you're going to join this contest, you are going to get points deducted if your percussion is not tuned. Make sure your cowbells make sense. So I, I'll... Uh, 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 yo, I really cannot speak English today. I'm gonna add that tri rectangle every two bars. I'll make another pen and make it unique. I didn't even need to. I'm so stupid. Why did I make that unique? There's nothing, there wasn't even anything in the pattern. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Fire. Let's add an 808. A is a little bit low for my liking, so I'm gonna pitch it up like three. Take that 808 to C. Go into these things, the audio clips, and we're gonna pitch them each up 300 cents. You see up there in that top left corner where it says B contest. That's where you can see the the values. When I do this, I make sure that I'm sticking to 100 because I don't want to detune it. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. Boom. See, you really gotta say, you gotta say it. Let's change the 808 to one from Undeniable Volume 1. And then we can kind of see how it sounds with different melodies involved. You know what would be sick? A bass line. I'm going to use one of my bass. That cool that's what i mean like you could structure this out in so many different ways i got this one melody coming in halfway through i got this one by itself and then this one comes in after that with the bass line like yo there's just a lot of variation and a lot of cool things that you could do when it comes to having stems and several layers in a sample that's why galaxy guitars is so fire perfect for you guys to make beats with you do the other way around that's actually so far A lot of people struggle with 
adding like more elements they don't know when to add what to add sound selection what kind like we got you covered with this kit all the sounds go together it's easy to add one or take one out you don't have to worry about anything but just making a fire beat with it another reason why people joining this contest should be able to make the hardest beats and i've been getting some submissions since the last video so you know keep them coming you guys have until march 16th don't let the other people beat you you got this i believe in you let's go galaxy guitars kit undeniable drum kits all links down below in the description and in the comment section for you please like the video leave a comment i would love to talk to you guys let me know what videos you guys want to see in the future it's chambers from chambersmixit.com i'll see you guys in the next one when we're going to be a lot closer to that close date of this contest so make sure that you get your fire beats in peace